In the skies over Germany in 1944, Ted Vaughn piloted a Lancaster bomber along with hundreds of others. It was over the Ruhr Valley on his final approach in his bombing run, caught in the blinding glare of a searchlight in heavy flak. We had the perfect right to just stop and bail out, but we didn't. And the crew didn't panic. Help the navigator, he, he, he stepped out of his position. He didn't use it. He said, I've got to get in on this action. And his voice and my voice and the bomb member's voice kept the rest of the people under control, I think. Ted lives a quieter life now at his home in Saanich. I was 20 years old. Two of my crew were 19. He's 88 now and still sharp as he recalls his war years. He was coerced into joining the Royal Canadian Air Force by his friend Art Wilson. I was with, with somebody who was, couldn't wait to join up, to fly. That's what he wanted to do. And I had really no aspirations about flying at, at first until I got with him. Ted Vaughn was just over 20 when he received his wings, just 20 when he became a pilot for the 408 Goose Squadron. He flew at night. There was a fire on a wing after he was hit by flak. They dropped their bombs and lost an engine. Now all of a sudden I said, what's the fire doing? Oh, the bomb aimer says he had to get out of his turret because the flames were coming right back over him. We continued home then at 16,000 feet on three motors. For bringing them home safely that March night in 1944, Ted Vaughn was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. Vaughn flew 36 missions on his aircraft he called Old Faithful, each mission marked on the fuselage. He called his crew the League of Nations, flyers from Quebec, Ontario, Oklahoma City, British Columbia, Manitoba, even the Dutch East Indies. But his friend, who talked him into the Air Force in the first place, was left behind. He got killed in his first operation. <laughs> we are. Ted Vaughn was more fortunate and is thankful. He and his wife Janet celebrated their 65th wedding anniversary this year.